So we have this garden here that has very few weeds in it. We've had to do very little weeding at all in it. And it's done that on its own. Well, not really on its own. <laughs> it's years of you know, working on it and doing different things and making the soil better. But over here on this other end, however, the garden over here is full of these grasses and weeds. So today we're gonna fix that problem. As you can see, we've got these melons. These are honeydews over here. The, the plants are strong and good and healthy, but all this junk right here, it's just going to overtake this whole bed. It's, it's just insane. We can't possibly keep up with it the way it is. Just, we don't have time for it. Happens too much. Same issue across this entire bed. This is a fairly new bed. We just got it, really just completed it last year. And it's just still a whole lot of weeds and stuff coming up in it. See this whole aisle right here. Beans over here, butter peas over here, great. But this is gonna be a pain in the butt. So my first step is to weed eat it down and I'm going to eliminate all this junk, all these grasses and weeds, and just let them sit there. All right, you can see where I just did a quick weed eat job, kind of down there, around the front, around these melons the best way possible, but be very, very careful. I used a, a pretty weak weed eater. I've got a stronger one. I just use this little weak one back here, very, very lightly powered. Don't want a big cut radius because you don't want to cut anything down. And these melons right here are doing really good. And there was a female blossom in here somewhere. Let me show you. It was right here, I think, yep. See, it's a female blossom right there. You see the fruits coming on the back? So, be very, very careful. When doing this method, you don't want to cut any of those things down, right? So, gotta be gentle. And when you're getting close to the plants, whatever kind of plant it is, just be sure that maybe, don't take a chance, get down there and just pull the weed if you want to. <laughs> By hand, it's okay. You don't want to cut anything down. But you do want to, just do a nice quick job and leave all these weeds sitting just like this. See, just leave it like this. The sun's going to dry it out real fast. It's okay. Now, if you're doing this up around the base of plants that you're going to want to keep watered, you want to make sure you wet down the soil really, really well first. See, these are melons, and we'll make sure that, and we're, going, and we're heading into a hot, dry spell. So I'm going to want to make sure the soil is really, really wet before I continue on in my next step, okay? And you'll see why in a second. But... Just go ahead and just soak down the soil really, really well across all these things. Now, up there in that hallway, I'm not going to worry about it because that's not up around the plants. But I'm going to want to make sure the areas around the plants is nice and wet. And now my lovely assistant is over soaking all these bags down. These are for our feed bags, okay? These are our chicken feed bags. They're empty, right? So we use a New Country Organic Chicken Feed. These are a plain paper bag. They're really thick, really thick paper bag. See that? but these are also very compostable and so these are bags we've saved up over the last little bit and we've we tore off the sticker that was on them and tore off the bottom piece that had like a bag tag on it and strings so we just have plain paper and we're going to take these feed bags and as you see there we're going to lay them down across the across the soil and as we get them laid down we're going to soak them full of water all right just soak, soak the heck out of the water is my lovely sister angel k is doing now while angela k is Working on that project, right? She's putting the bags down and, and soaking them down really good and Tootie's picking up my legs. Then I gotta start cleaning out this, this run here. All, this, all these shavings have broke down and are ready to be used. So I gotta start cleaning that out. And now to start with, I'm just gonna start taking buckets of this shavings right here. See, five gallon tractor supply bucket full of these shavings. And yeah, you guessed it. And then I'm gonna dump them out right here. Wow, look at that. Holding the camera and dumping shavings at the same time. And so now we're going to put shavings from the coop. It's just basically broke down bedding. See how, how broken down it is? Looks, looks great. See, look, it's so broken down. And they're really dry right now, so we're going to put them all over top of all these bags. And as we do that, soak those shavings down really good as well. So the reason we're soaking everything down really well is for multiple purposes. I mean, it's obviously to keep moisture in the soil, but also it helps everything start to break down. If you're gonna start composting anything at all, you, you gotta start with water. <laughs> it just has to have water be soaked down really good and be wet, that starts a breaking down process. And so that's why we soak down those bags and we're soaking down those uh, shavings. And unfortunately, it's more than just a bucket full. So I gotta get started pulling the rest of this stuff out. All right, we've got most of this stuff covered with bags and with compost or shavings or whatever you wanna call it, bedding. But 
I don't know if we're gonna continue on that path because we do want to start a compost pile out of the rest of, out of some of our shavings. So I'm gonna take a few loads of that and start a compost pile. And we'll see if we have enough to finish this project right here. Okay, so now as I said, we've gotten quite a bit done over there on that project. And we're gonna halt that spot for just a little bit to make sure we can get enough for our compost pile to get started. And here's our first load to go into that compost pile. And it's, it's a great time of year to start a compost pot, I'll be honest with you, okay? We're get, like here in Southwest Ohio, we're getting ready to get really hot and dry, by the way, but really hot. And so it's it's best now to get this in here. And again, we're gonna have to, you gotta soak it down. If you're gonna start a compost pile, you gotta soak it down, get it nice and nice and wet. Soaked all the way through, and then you can start adding stuff to it. We'll add manure out of the coop, we'll add you know vegetable scraps, thing, all kinds of stuff will get to add, be added to that compost pile and build soil over time for next year's use. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I'm just gonna drop it in right here. Right, good start. I'm a second load full right here. So I think we might be able to continue that project over there. Let's wait and find out. We'll do stuff that full, so that's gonna go over there. And we have all this left. It's, you can't really tell how thick it is. There's quite a bit left still. Come on kids, you know what time it is. Let's go. There you go. We'll let them out in the yard. First of all, every evening, just to get some grass, get some space. Good free range time while we're out here doing stuff, but also makes it a heck of a lot easier to clean the coop when they're not, when they're not in there. All right, we're running out of time and my back's running out of strength. So I'm gonna try something that I have never tried before. We may have tried it one time to, uh, <laughs> to no avail, cause it, but we're gonna use the leaf blower to try and finish out this job, okay. Let's see if it works. It's working, it's also causing a lot of dust. All right, we got it done. Even though if we did get a lot of dust on the camera, but everything's done. Let's show you what it looks like, okay? Look how much better all this looks over here. Plenty of cover, killing, smothering out the weeds. The melon plants are a little disheveled because I had to move them around some. But they'll straighten up and they'll be fine. All the way up through here, look at this. Much better. So much better. So no weeds, it's gonna hold moisture better. It's gonna feed the soil, right? So we're gonna reduce weeds, build soil, retain water. Those are, those are wonderful things that any food grower, homesteader would love to be doing. And because we have all this chicken bedding, we're able to do so. Also start, another, start a big compost pile. And then look at the, look at the run. It's all, all the old shavings that were in the coop are now out here to finish breaking down and to, to start composting. And look at this nice clean coop. Chickens will be happy to have all this clean bedding, fresh bedding, it smells better too. I mean, it didn't smell bad to start with, but it has this nice piney aroma now. And we got it done before it got hot. It's going to start getting hot. What they're saying is tomorrow we shall see. We shall see, but whew, chicken's still out in the yard. You girls still out here? What about Big Al? What you doing, baby Jane? Gracie, what are you doing? Hmm. So while Angela finishes watering some stuff, we gotta pick up all of our trash, <laughs> right? Whew, about time to settle down for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.